And let's start with you, Brian. Who would you say is the Hornets' MVP of the season? Well, I would have gone with Gordon Hayward to start the season, but he's been out for the last 20 games and has been hurt. But I would have to say it's Terry Rozier. He's averaging 20 points a game. He leads the team. And he's probably been the most reliable night in and night out. Terry Rozier is my pick. Stepped into the role big time. Will, with that schedule released tomorrow for the Panthers, what city are you most looking forward to covering the Panthers in this year? If it's Miami in the winter, then it's Miami so I can get out of here for a little bit. But if it's also the winter, I want to go up to Buffalo, experience the whole nine yards, Ooh. see tables broken, and, and get some good videos. <laughs> Very nice. Brian, Conor McGregor says he wants to buy Manchester United. Could you see that champ as the boss of the Red Devils, really? I didn't know that MMA fighters make that much money to buy it. No like way. Manchester United. Four point, it's $4.3 billion the yeah. valuation of Man U. But Conor McGregor, he actually does have $250 million. He's going to have to come up with some cheddar to do it. What <laughs> flair would that be? Going to need some wow. investment help, yeah. Will, the NHL's playoffs are set. Who are two of the favorites in your eyes for this? Uh, the goaltending worries me a little bit for the Hurricanes, so I can't say them. I'm going to say the Panthers, and I'm going to say the Knights. The Knights' goal differential has been about 63 this year. Absolutely outstanding. Always look out for the Lightning. Been there, done that. So I can't wait. I just want to know who's going to play who. Love the chase for Lord Stanley's Cup. Yes. All right, Brian, is the NL East really good because these teams are constantly beating up on each other, or is it really bad because they're – Constantly beating I, I up on each I think they're other. really good, Joe. I mean, they, I mean, the Braves and the Mets were the class of the uh, the, NFL, the National League to start, and now you add in the Phillies who've been playing really well. So I think it's probably the cream of the crop in the NL East. All right, not bad. And will the Gastonia Honey Hunters have their first pitch in two weeks? What sound does a honey hunter make? I don't know, but I'm not going to try it. Come on. Uh, they, they, well, what would it be? It's a bear, right? It'd be some sort of a growl. Do you have a Winnie the Pooh impression? Because he ate honey, right? Ooh, I, I can't remember. Ooh, I'm piglet. so bad at impressing. <laughs> Is that all right? Too bad. Nailed right. it. Hey, what does 